December afternoon. And to mark the outstanding start to the season by Pontypool, a special ceremony before the kickoff. A welcome sight at Pontypool and a sign of the times after a disappointing year last year, but Pontypool now named the senior club of the month and receiving the trophy, the Pontypool chairman Bill Lewis, and being presented, of course, by a grand favourite here at Pontypool Park, Charlie Faulkner. A good crowd at Pontypool Park for this top of the table clash. On the bottom left, David Bishop, captain of Pontypool, no mistaking him, and top right for cricket of Glamorgan Wanderers, perhaps not fully fit. And on a dark, cold, misty December afternoon, the referee in charge is Owen Jones of Swansea. Pontypool in this first half going with the slight breeze. The outside half, Gareth Powell. And the ball immediately touching Owen Williams, but coming to Pontypool, Stark Jones going through, but the blast of the whistle from referee Owen Jones. Very powerful front row for Pontypool, Staff Jones, Paul Johnson and Graham Price. But it's Kevin Ellis of the Morgan Wanderers with the first put in. Well, there's the Pontypool drive making their presence felt at the very first scrum. Bishop upends Ellis. But the Morgan Wanderers recover well. And back to Kevin Ellis and safely into touch. Kevin Ellis, formerly of Bridgend, and of course replacing another former Bridgend uh, player, Gerald Williams, who's now the Glamorgan Wanderers coach. Referee Owen Jones immediately asking for separation between the two factions. Johnson, the Pontypool hooker, with the throw. Just inside the Morgan Wanderers half, Jackers feeds. A bit of barging and the penalty going to the Wanderers. Alan Carter that time deemed to have used his elbow at the tail of the line-out. Former Pontypool player Mike Goldsworthy. Not into touch, taken by Reese, and here's the skipper. A beautiful strike to the ball by David Bishop. All of 45 meters, and immediately the Morgan Wanderers are propelled back into their own half. Mark Brown just standing off the line out, ready to confuse Mike Goldsworthy, the Wanderers outside half. And the Wanderers take, that's Lyndon James. A good two-handed catch as Ellis waits for the feed. That will give the Wanderers some confidence. Lyndon James getting up very high for that ball, using that six-foot-seven frame of his. Ellis with the feed. Tremendous drive by Bonnefool. And away comes Carter. He needs the support of Hewish and Brown. Typical Pontypool play, it's Hewish. But the Wanderers are there in numbers in the midfield. But it's ruck ball. Bishop going wide. The foul outside. Bishop going to have a go all by himself. And it could be Pontypool ball again. And it comes on that far side. Hanson that time not being able to get the ball away. A tremendous opening burst by Pontypool, so typical of their forward drives. Seven minutes of the first half gone, still no score. Johnson to the tail, and away come Pontypool, Graham Price to the fore. Ellis again with a difficult feed and against the head quite crisply and cleanly and there's the forward drive it's anybody's ball Bishop has scored David Bishop so typical a Pontypool try and the captain gets his eighth try of the season and Glamorgan Wanderers in all sorts of trouble at the scrums 
the two British Lions in the front row giving him terrible troubles and there's David Bishop's waiting, good control by Carter, waiting for the ball and there he dives over, excellent try. A simple kick for Gareth Powell, two extra points, Pontypool go into the lead, six points to nil, the try scored by David Bishop and converted by Gareth Powell. <laughs> Bishop with the feed. There's the control of Pontypool. Come on! As Ellis hands over to Owen Williams on the far side of Balderson. Goldsworthy's is there too. Now the Wanderers will want to get this ball back, but frustratingly for them, the whistle going. And so rare has the Wanderers' possession been in the first quarter of the first half and wonders whether they can really challenge the power of Pontypool. Bishop. He's got all the time in the world there. But not the best of passes to Gareth Powell. And the Wanderers go through. Elias with a strong tackle. This is the best opportunity. The try has been awarded. Looks as if it's Hembro has been given the credit for the try. And all that coming from a Pontypool mistake by David Bishop. And, and Pontypool will be very annoyed at this, especially David Bishop. The scrum is perfect, the platform is there, the, the heel is well controlled, but look out for the pass. It's a very high pass, and the outside half doesn't gather it, but good play by Ellis, the scrum half. He puts him under pressure, and good support then by the Wanderers back row. They're there very quickly. They're scrambling the ball over, and it looks like Hembo's got the touchdown. Again, perfect ball for Bishop, but a rather high pass, and the Pontypool holds an half power under pressure. Great follow-up by Ellis, and then the two back row Wanderers men get there very quickly, causing panic. There's Hembo keeping his feet well, and grabs the try. Brian Balderson, 181 points this season so far. A difficult kick. He struck it well. And indeed, two points for the Wanderers. So the match is back on level terms. And great enthusiasm from Ian Hembro in getting that try. Ellis, the try from Pantapool. This could be a difficult ball because it's come on Pontypool's way. The far side, bit good. Half a tackle. There's still Roger Bidgood. As Bishop comes wide. The kick is meant on this side for Hansen to chase. Surely he'll get there. Now oh, that's superb play by David Bishop. Making amends. Hansen the scorer, but Bishop with the vision. And there we see that the Wanderers again, their problem area under pressure in the scrums, and the ball is going loose. Now, good play by the Pontypool backs, and particularly a bit good. Here he gets the ball, he looks for the half gap, seems to go through, but he's held. But he, they do the basics very, very well here. Yeah, he stays and makes the ball available. Now, just watch this bit of Bishop magic. He come, comes away with the ball, looks at the back line, sees that the Wanderers are flat, a gap behind the defence, a beautiful kick, Hansen all the time in the world over for a good try. That try was unconverted, went unconverted by Gareth Power, but Pontypool have regained the lead after the Hanson try, 10 points to six. Ready, 18 minutes of the first half to go. Bishop waits for the delivery from Carter and choosing the short side, Glasson. Glasson's still going. Can he get there in his own? Has he got the spin? Owen Jones. No try. Instead, a penalty. A little bit of play after the tackle, perhaps. In the tightest of corners, Goldsworthy. And a near miss for Glamorgan Wanderers. Bishop was in the blind side, and Glasner, a very strong man, breaking through tackles. Looks as if he's going to get to the line, because he's just taken a yard or two short, and he's penalised for Wrigley and Mr. Jones on the spot. Lawrence O'Brien. Wanderers hooker, formerly of Cardiff. 
James going up high, and it's failed to take, and in the way comes Johnson. Back inside of Graham Price. And the Wanderers play the ball to Boulderson. Lassen takes, and that far side, he's got Reese outside if he looks, but Lassen's still going. Great running by the Pontypool wing. Pick up by Mark Brown. Pontypool laid off, that's Hewish. And suddenly, all the action is down the Wanderers' try line. Bit good. He's going to have a charge. Still going. The pick up by David Bishop. Upended. Centimeter short of the Wanderers' try line. But what an amazing recovery that by Pontypool. Initially, a Gamorgan Wanderers' mistake. And how they paid for it. Some 80 meters. Bishop. It looks so inviting for Pontypool. There's the drive again. Morgan Wanderers collapsing. One wonders whether Pontypool might have wanted the ball to come out rather than the penalty. So what's the call? David Bishop in control ball come to Graham Price under Chris Hewish hasn't quite come up yet but here comes the secondary possession Bishop foul Oral the pick up by Hansen second try for the winger all emanating from that short penalty move so Sean Hansen scores his sixth try of the season Good play with the Pontypool forwards. Watch the flick pass from Graham Price, and there's where the damage is done, because Hewish drives in, and he's sucked in some of the, the Wanderers' defence, and again, the ball is laid back like an egg. They've got the overlap. It's all means it's good passing. It's a slightly bad pass, but Hansen doesn't panic. A favourable bounce, and he's over for a try. <laughs> Garrett Powell pulls it in very neatly as Pontypool increased their lead to 16 points to six. Hansen, the try scorer. On the 10 meter line, inside the Pontypool half. There Amanda Bargey going on at that particular line out. One of the most prolific of point scorers, Brian Bolderson, former Tradiga player. And that's the distance. It's a mighty distance. Good 40 meters. Here it comes. It looks a comfortable kick. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. Brian Bolderson adds another three points to the Wanderers' total. So Pontypool now lead by 16 points to nine. confusion in the Gamora Wanderers ranks sorting out the calls oh, and Williams number eight at the back so it's Frank Jackers and here go Pontypool once again that's going eight nine ten meters as Bishop waits it's as easy as that Powell with a kick he had other options but Hansen is giving chase Francis is back there. Coolly done by Francis. Good combination work between Francis and Bolson. Relieving the danger. The outside half. Gareth Powell for Pontypool. Danger for Gamorgan Wanderers again as Bishop. Decides what to do with it. Gareth Powell, the kick ahead on that far side is meant for Glasson to chase. But Brian Bolderson is really playing a hero's game at fullback for the Morgan Wanderers. Seems to be everywhere. Hi, 
This is becoming familiar territory inside the Glamorgan Wanderers 22 metre line as Brown takes. Certainly got the speed, has he got the strength? Here's the drive as Pontypool arrive in numbers. Desperate defence for Glamorgan Wanderers. It's a Pontypool put in, and a betting man would say that the man putting the ball in might even score a try from this distance. But Alan Carter goes for it instead. The try is scored, not by Carter. He got the support from Chris Hewish eventually. Hewish, the try scorer, and that's his sixth of the season. And the Pontypool back row having a field day simply because their front five are scrimmaging superbly. There's Mark Brown having a dip. He's held short, but Hewish picks up and over simple try. Chris Hewish's try was unconverted by Gareth Powell. He hit the paint, so it remains at 20 points to nine. Into injury time at the end of this first half. It's all gone Pontypool's way. Jackus to David Bishop. Off he goes, up towards the halfway line. Bishop in full flight. And still going. And here go Pontypool once again inside the Morgan Wanderers 22 metre line. Great round of applause. There's no greater sight in Welsh club rugby at the moment than David Bishop in full flight. Tremendous power by Pontypool right from the start. They lead by 20 points to nine at half time. But can the Wanderers come back? We'll find out as we rejoin the match now a little way into the second half. So far in this half, the Wanderers having to defend desperately. Ellis to Goldsworthy, they're willing to run the ball to Roke, to Bolderson. He's still going. Could be dangerous though, as the ball goes from Walker to Goldsworthy. And it's anybody's ball. <laughs> but the ball was played by a wonderful player. So Lawrence O'Brien was quite entitled to be there. However, it's a scrum just inside the Glamorgan Wanderers 22 metre line. Bishop. Steady upon the full scrum. And it goes to Oral. He too wants to penetrate the Glamorgan Wanderers midfield defence. Bishop this time. The foul the half break still those wanderers tackles are going in full credit to them Owen Williams to anybody who's willing to take the ball but away goes Ellis they got a man over to Bolderson the kick from Bolderson but it's a mighty long chase for anybody but the kick is a good one The crowd not liking that one bit because they felt that Bolson had kicked outside his 22 and the ball had gone directly into touch and the referee, I think, will bring them back. O'Brien. Away come Pontypool. Staff Jones. Hewish, as always, lending a hand. Ball is not going to come out of there. And suddenly, on that far side, Owen Jones right in the spot, giving a caution to Staff Jones. Looks as if it might have been a punch on the blind side of the ball. Twenty points to nine the score. Could these be the first points of the second half? It's a low kick. Has it got there? Indeed it has. Wanderers just chipping away at that Wanderers uh, 20 points to nine lead. So currently the score, Pontypool 20 for more than Wanderers 12.
short line out called by Glamorgan Wanderers. We've not seen many of those. It's Ellis, their <laughs> main line out jumper. Goldsworthy to the captain Prickett. Back to Goldsworthy. Roke. And suddenly the Wanderers stringing their passes together. Sen is Hugh Thomas, the doctor. Ellis again on the short side. This is good play by the Wanderers. Well, there's a bit of sparkle. There's a bit of life in the Wanderers' ranks. So Pontypool cannot afford to rest on their laurels. That's the great think tank at Pontypool. Charlie Faulkner, now up here from Newport. Bobby Windsor, Garth Davis. And enjoying a joke with a lot of them, Ray Prosser. Head up is the instruction from Owen Jones, the referee. And the free kick goes to Glamorgan Wanderers. No indeed. No indeed. Two on the pool. The drop goal. It's there. And what an unexpected score. Got a foul. The drop goal. And the short penalty moves sweetly to power. Takes plenty of time. Gathers himself. Drops for goal. It's not a high one, but it's straight. Well struck, and that's three vital points for Pontypool. 23 points to 12. The Wanderers really have struggled to get back into this game. I wonder whether that drop goal might make all the difference. Bishop waits. The drop goal charged down by Ellis. The fly hack. A difficult one for Glasson, but he's got hold of it. Hewish picks up for Pontypool. Play on. Owen Williams. And away goes Rollins. Uh, full credit to Clawaga Wanderers. And the likes of Martin Rollins. They haven't lost heart. They're plugging away. It's the season of mist at Pontypool. Control is slow. The bishop's kick, Rollins underneath. Took his eyes off the ball as Glasson challenged. Johnson, Jackus, just deflecting it. Powell to Oral on the far side of Hansen. Hansen's broken through. Hansen's still going. Strong running. The pickup eventually by Carter, the number eight. And Hansen back into the move again. Good, strong running from Sean Hansen. And Pontypool have been loath to move the ball across the line without markering this afternoon. But year for a change, they do it. And I think this man, Hansen, is very strong and fast. Here he cuts, straightens the line, and steps back inside the cover. Very, very strong man, beat in a couple of men, a high tackle. But look how he stays on his feet to make the ball available. Tremendous support play by Carter. He might have given, but he can see the line within himself, looking to support play. Pontypool there in numbers. But there you can see Mr. George perfectly positioned, a knock-on. Nine six and one nine eight is the call. Graham Price at the front there. Hayden Morton behind for Pontypool. Wanderers get hold of the ball. It's Ellis though caught in the thick of things. But away they come. Embero back to Owen Williams. This is better. Wanderers play, waiting for the wing to reach. Ellis took it beautifully to Rollins. Rollins into the corner. Has he got there? Not quite. Great play in injury time by the Wanderers, and that indeed is the final whistle. Full credit to the Wanderers. They've suffered some losses, but they've never thrown the, t the towel in this game. Ellis having a go, seen the gap there, but they've tackled with determination, and they've taken the game right at the end of Pontypool. Good handling by the forwards, slipping the ball, the back row there, and tremendous running by Owen Williams in number eight. And watch this little flick pass. There it is from Ellis, and good play by the winger. He chips ahead, seeing the, the plenty of cover there, but Pontypool get back there to save the situation. 
an emphatic win for Pontypool by 23 points to 12. And this, of course, will solidify their position as the premier club in Wales and at the head of all tables, unofficial or otherwise.